Yo, today we're in Tuscany, Italy, and we're drinking on Cabernet Sauvignon. You know what I love. Let's go. Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday. I am your host, J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes of Sam Publishing. Hey, hey, what up, everybody? How's everybody doing this fine Wednesday? Um... Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. And as you can see, there's two bottles in front of me. But before I get into that, I got to say, I just released the first part of my audio experience, uh, the controversy of Kaiser Sose. Please, if you get a chance, I don't ask for a lot, but if you get a chance, please go to my YouTube under J. Todd Gunter, my full name, um, and just watch the, uh, watch the uh, first part. It's not long at all. You do not have to sign up for my my uh, Patreon, and you know if you don't want to, um, the full ep the full um, series is there, and I would love for you to do that. Along with that, you also have uh, my Fruit and Glass audio book that's available in in that whole thing too, um, and it's only five dollars and ninety nine cents. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, please do, but you don't have to. I'm more. I'm more interested in you guys checking out at least the first part of uh, the series because I just want to I want to get your comments. I want to this is my first time diving into this, and I want to get some feedback. And I'm just curious to know what you think. So, as many people that you know, I've been on Instagram for a long time. As many people that I um, that I engage with on on the platform, I'm just hoping that some of y'all will go check out the uh, at least go check out the audio. Um, Experience and it's only I think the first uh, part is only about 15 minutes, so it's not long at all So go to check that out if you get a chance other than that. Sorry to go down that road Let's get back to the wine. We're talking about wine today, of course um, And again, happy wine Wednesday um, Today we're talking about this one bottle, but before we do um, I had this bottle um, This is Pais uh, Pais is another name for the mission grape um this one's out of uh, Chile, and I had this bottle uh, when I did my Monday uh, show that I do every Monday now, uh, Wine and Words of Encouragement. If you haven't gotten a chance, go check that out. Um, this bottle right here is called Mariposa 2020 out of Chile. This wine is outstanding. This is my new, I, I tasted it on camera really quick and I got to the business, but after tasting this a little bit further, this is the perfect chillable red wine. And if you're into that kind of stuff, especially when it's warm outside, this is the wine. You guys need to go check this out. I got this from Grocery Outlet for $3.99. So if this ain't a case, but I don't know what it is. And this is a hell of a wine. I mean, you're getting all types of stuff. Like, I'm loving it, man. There's a little spice here going on. There's like this floral thing going on in the nose. It's very complex and very fun. And um, beautiful fruit, elegant fruit. Beautiful wine. I'm going to get a case of this. Um, just wanted to throw that out there for you guys because this is a really, really good wine. Um, but let's get, we're in Italy today. We're in Tuscany and we're talking about Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, Tuscany is known for having um, not always Italian grapes grown there. They have uh, French grapes grown there, um, such as, you know, Cabernet Sauvignon and things of that nature. And so a lot of times with our IGTs, which is their um, in the Indicazone um, Geographic Typica, which is their cla their classification for the highest level out of Tuscany, IGT. Um, they're considered two super Tuscans a lot of times. Um, they are they put a lot of these other European grapes in those blends, and so this one's a hundred percent Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, from what they're saying. And I'm curious to know how it is. I'm I'm really curious. It's called the po This is Poggio Altufo. Uh, 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon at Tusc Tuscana. It's the Tomasi family that does this. Tomasi family is a big family out in Tuscany, very well known. This is the label, guys. And I'm curious to know how, how this is singing. Um, yeah, so get, let's get right into it. Oh, nose. I get this beautiful, beautiful red cherry going on here. I'm also getting this, um, definitely some leather here. Kind of like um, new car leather. There's a sweet tobacco element here and also like, um, I would say like raisinette thing going on. There's a floral thing here too. I'm getting a little bit of rose petal here too. A bit of black currant. Some wet soil here. 
and some like kind of fleshy, not even kind of some fleshy black cherry going on here. Let's go ahead and taste it and see if everything's um, translating to the palate. I want to talk about structure first. This is not a huge wine. This is uh, to me. This is more of a medium plus. Um, yeah, medium plus. Um, quite a long finish. Nice long finish here. Tannins are. Tannins are medium plus to acid is. All right, hold on. Wow, got some acid here. Um, medium plus on acid. Bottom half, bottom side of medium plus. I kind of tiptoe on that line, but I'll I'll go medium plus on this. Um, very drying on the outside. Uh, one that I want something like lasagna with. Like I, I want something really meaty. I think it'd go really well with this. Um, let's go ahead and taste the fruit. So this is driven by black cherry more than anything here. Um, you do get into like a kind of a red, a red uh, cherry too here, uh, more in the mid palate. Um, there's a bit of spice in the third quarter, um, kind of like a vanilla spice thing, but not over the top. Not like uh, no, not vanilla, more nutmeggy, like more of a nutmeg in the in the mid palate to the finish. Um, there are some earthy notes here that I'm catching. Um, kind of this like umami thing in the third quarter. Oh, this tannin's build. Um, I'm gonna have to go high tannins on here. This is it's just getting more in the high tannin realm. I thought it was lower than this, but these are some builder tannins. Uh, very good wine. I think it's still a little young. I think it's a little um, complicated still. Um, not fully seamless on the palate, uh, but definitely a solid, um, solid Super Tuscan. And um, I know this is running for a really good price too. I'm not, it's why I'm with this. I don't like to discuss price. It's just the wine. If it's good, it's good. Uh, but this one is good. I like it quite a bit, and it's. Um, I think you can find it for a really good price if you look for it. Um, taste a little bit more. See if I'm missing anything. So a bit of a black tea thing on the finish too. And a little bit of like a, a kind of a truffle thing too. This is a good wine. I really like it. Uh, I think it has some complexities. A little disjointed, but it has some complexities. If I'm scoring this wine, stay tuned. Wine Wednesday will be right back. Grapes and Sand Productions. Act 1. The Conclusion of Usual Suspects. 1995. Verbal Kent, a previously thought small-time con man, is limping down the steps of a New York police station and then starts correcting his walk to freedom. With that one change, Verbal Kent has gone from a gullible criminal with a disability to one of the most wanted criminals in the world, Kaiser Soze. A moment later, Agent David Kujan of U.S. Customs wanders into the frame, looking around, much in the way a child would when lost at the circus. He takes no notice of the car pulling out into traffic, blending in with the rest of the cars filled with people on their way back to work. Fade to black. Now back to the show. I'm going to go 88 plus on it. Because um, I buy I buy more of this. This is really good wine. Um, highly recommend it. Um, question of the day. Um, I don't think I've ever asked this. What's your favorite grape out of Italy? That's a broad question because Italy makes so many different da damn grapes. But, you know, I'm just curious. And if you have a good label, wouldn't you like, you feel you want to share in the comment section, please do. I would love to find this wine that you love so much and try it. And if it's good enough, I'll try it on camera. So anyway, guys, until next time, cheers.